half of this countdown, we have The Violinist. This was posted one year ago on Reddit by the user Harabovsky. He stated that he worked as an aide for an elderly woman, and as a result, he would have to run errands for her. One time, he went thrift shopping and came across a painting of an old man playing the violin. He bought it for a dollar and hung it up in his living room. He claimed that looking at the painting gave him inspiration. However, after a couple of days passed, weird stuff started to happen. The first being that he started to smell smoke being emitted from the painting. He said that it wasn't like a cigarette type smoke smell, but more like a bonfire smoke smell. Then little things would happen like his microwave door would open randomly and he would hear footsteps. He ended up taking the painting out of his apartment and locking it up in his car trunk. But the next day, he almost got into a big car accident. People then commented on his post saying that they believe he is being haunted by a Jewish demon, since the man in the painting is believed to be Jewish as he is wearing a yarmulke. They believe that this spirit is a dibbuk, which is mentioned in Jewish folklore and has the power to cling onto an individual and possess them. In our ninth spot, we have the girl in the red dress. So this next painting was bought from the thrift store. Again, like come on, like I mentioned in my last video, never buy paintings from the thrift stores. Too many of them are either cursed or haunted. I mean, I wouldn't want to take the risk, but you do you. The Reddit user XD5133 shared this story one year ago. He said that his friend bought this painting because it was super creepy. He claims that both the dog and the girl in the photo look like demons and that's what enticed him to buy it. I mean, interesting taste, but I don't judge. Then he claims that shortly after hanging the photo, they saw paw prints on the wall leading up to the painting. They don't have any pets and have no clue how the paw prints got on the wall. Nonetheless, he is convinced that the painting is haunted by the dog and its owner. Making our way down the list at number 7, we have the man in armor. This was posted by the reddit user devilishangel75. Unfortunately, there are no pictures of this painting, however, the user described it as a 3 foot tall painting of an old man wearing Spanish looking armor. He claims the painting was extremely detailed and the frame was made out of carved wood. Now, his mom actually bought this painting for him, not knowing that it was haunted. <laughs> what a thoughtful gift. The first night of owning the painting, his AC unit fell right out of his window. The second night, a bunch of his knickknacks fell off his dresser. This led him to talk to the man in the painting every night before bed. He would ask him nicely to just behave. And this worked, until he stopped having the conversation with him. Then another night, he felt the corner of his mattress lift and then thumped down on his box spring. The last straw was when his mother heard someone approach her bedroom door and whisper to her through the door. After that, they took the painting to the landfill to discard it there. So. Don't worry guys, the ghost is just haunting the landfill now. Moving on in our sixth spot, we have the painting from another dimension. The reddit user Marco397 posted this story about 3 weeks ago, so this is a fairly recent encounter with a haunted painting. This user claims that he bought a cursed painting from a flea market. He was browsing when this painting caught his attention. Well, yeah, it caught my attention too, but not in a good way, just from how horrifying it is. But apparently, he really liked it because he bought it. A couple of weeks later, he moved and was unpacking his boxes when he decided to take a picture of the current state of his room and send it to his mom. The painting ended up being in the shot and when he reviewed the photo, you could see a weird distortion in the photo, almost like a figure was standing in front of him. A couple of weeks later, he took another photo and it appeared as if a ghostly handprint with claws was in the photo. Upon doing research on the painting, someone told him that it might have been painted by someone with schizophrenia. They said if you join the faces in half, together it will create a new face. When he did this, it revealed a very creepy image of an alien type creature. They believe that the person painted the creature that they were seeing from another dimension. The painting remains in the owner's hands, locked away in his house. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Rain Woman. So this painting has a really creepy backstory. The artist Zlatlana Tillets claimed that she felt a hand guiding her while she was painting this picture. So. Basically, the spirit that made her draw the image looks exactly like that. Creepy. Here's something even more unsettling. Everyone who has owned the painting has returned it. The first woman bought it and called the artist begging for her to take the painting back. She said she couldn't sleep and felt like there was something watching her. The next man returned the painting after saying he kept dreaming of the woman. He said that the shadow of the woman would just walk around him. Then the last person bought it regardless of the other two incidents. He claimed that he wasn't frightened by it. Boy did he change his mind quickly. He claimed that her white eyes were haunting him. 
He started to see them everywhere and he would get terrible random headaches. Other people that have viewed the painting in person claim to either see the woman smiling or looking at them angrily. Moving on to number 4, we have the demon nun. Just take a look at this painting and try to convince me that this painting isn't haunted. Just look at it, it's terrifying. So this painting was found at a thrift store, shocker. I mean, what thrift store would see this and then try and sell it? Like no, I'd get rid of that so fast. Anyways, people that have seen this painting commented on the post saying that they felt very uneasy and that they ended up having dreams of this demon nun. Another person commented saying that they are convinced that it is haunted by the Valak demon as seen in the movie The Conjuring 2 and The Nun. What's creepy is the fact that both the crosses on this piece of art are inverted, representing Satanism. So what do you think of this piece of art? Did somebody make it just as a Halloween decoration? Or did somebody make it to summon evil spirits? Or is an evil spirit attached to it? In our third spot we have the Anguished Man. This painting is known to be one of the most haunted paintings in the world. So the story goes that a man named Sean Robinson inherited the painting from his grandmother. The artist of the painting still remains unknown, but it is said that the artist mixed their own blood in with the paint. Then they ended up taking their own life shortly after the painting was completed. Sean's grandmother was convinced that the painting was haunted. She claimed that she would hear screaming or crying and would often see a shadowy figure. As a result, she kept it locked away in her attic. They believed that it was haunted by the ghost of the artist. When Sean inherited the painting, his son was pushed down the stairs by the ghost, his wife felt someone stroking her hair, and a shadow would lurk through the halls. To this day, Sean keeps the painting locked up in a secure location. He also claims that people are making replicas and selling them online, but the real haunted painting still remains in his possession, carefully locked away. And in our number one spot, we have the sealed painting. The next painting was bought from a yard sale. The man who bought the painting was drawn to it. He thought that the painting could be worth some money since it looked pretty vintage and the frame detail was incredible. He had the painting hanging in his home for quite some time before strange things started happening. It started when one night he woke up from a loud bang. Turns out the painting had fallen off the wall. But he dismissed this because the painting was heavy. Unusually heavy, he said. This continued repeatedly. That's when he decided that he was going to reframe the art with a different frame that was much lighter. And boy, was that the worst decision. He said that it was super hard to break open the frame. He uploaded images that showed how thick the frame was and how sealed it was. However, he finally managed to get it open and remove the painting. He believes that when he did this, he unleashed some sort of evil spirit. Every night at the same time, he would wake up with the sweats feeling really sick. During the day, strange things would happen like he would hear door slams and whispers coming from the room that held the painting. After attributing it to the painting, he decided to lock it back up in its frame. From there, the unusual activity stopped. So he learned his lesson. Sometimes paintings are securely locked up in its frame for a reason. Moving on to number 9, we have the painting called The Left Hand by Theodore Jericho. Now, this painting comes with a dark backstory. Apparently, the artist Jean Louis Andre Theodore would buy amputated limbs from the morgue as models for his paintings. He would keep these limbs in his house for weeks while he painted them. I mean, of course, he couldn't have used his own hand or his friend's hand as a reference. No. He literally gave a new meaning to need a hand. Well, anyway, some people believe that his paintings are cursed by the people whose body parts he used as a reference. Some people have claimed that they have felt a cold hand on the back of their neck or even felt a slight push while looking at this painting. The scariest fact about this is that Theodore died 8 hours after finishing this piece of work. Thankfully, this particular piece of art is no longer on display. At number 8, we have the painting of Marie Laveau. Now, this image is carefully on display at the New Orleans Historic Voodoo Museum. Some people say that they can feel Marie's cold eyes watching them. Others say that once you see this image, then Marie will haunt you and even will show up in your nightmares. Oh, dang. I guess I won't be sleeping tonight. In fact, tour guides say that whoever wishes to see the painting must go alone. They refuse to go see it themselves. Others also claim that when they take a picture of the painting, their photos won't develop. So go to that museum and check out that painting if you're brave enough. Next up at number 7 we have the painting called Soul Bowl. Now with a name like that, what do you expect? So this piece of artwork was listed on a website called Trade Me and the user wanted it out of her life claiming that it was haunted. So this painting is of a bowl with the background almost looking like it could resemble the flames of hell. Now along the sides of the painting it reads the shape of my soul is a bowl. 
Creepy. Now, this painting was bought at an antique shop in New Zealand. However, after they brought this painting home, scary things started happening. She claims that some nights the painting would fall off the wall. She also claims that another night she saw a dark silhouette go from her bedroom to the painting. After numerous other paranormal encounters, she decided to sell it. I wouldn't think anyone would want a painting marketed as haunted, but apparently people like to collect spooky things. The painting ended up being sold for $123 to an anonymous buyer. She believes that this buyer took it off of her hands out of good nature and either burned it, locked it away, or tried to get in contact with the spirit. Next up at number 6, we have The Spirit of the Bartender by Will Refuse. Now, I personally love thrift shopping. I love the sustainability aspect of it and how it's better for the environment. Now, I only buy clothes and I think I'm just gonna stick to doing that because this next individual claims that they bought a haunted painting from the thrift store. Now, in this story, a group of buds moved in together. One roommate bought some furniture and a painting from the thrift store. So this painting was of a ventriloquist dummy looking bartender. He is seen with big eyes and a creepy smile. They claimed that the bartender's eyes would follow you around the room and they felt uneasy about it. One of the guys even claimed that when you are alone with it, you feel like there's another presence with you. Two months later, things started happening around their house. One day, one of the roommates heard a loud bang at the door, but no one was there. The banging continued and every time he checked, no one was there. Then he would hear loud footsteps running up and down the stairs. Eventually, one of the roommates moved out and took the painting with him and donated it to the bar that he worked at. But apparently, they also experienced paranormal activity and ended up throwing it out. Now, if you research this artist, it shows that he paints a lot of the same things over and over again. It always involves some ventriloquist looking person and there are different variations of this bartender photo. It's quite creepy. Moving on at number four, we have the haunted thrifted painting. Again, don't buy your paintings from the thrift stores. So this was posted on Reddit one year ago by the user Young Balsamic. He claims that one day he was thrift shopping when he came across this painting. Now he did claim that he does like creepy dark things so it wasn't too weird for him to buy this scary painting. Now although this looks badly hand painted, he claimed that the painting spoke to him and he felt overwhelmed like he just had to have it. After a few days he noticed that his cupboards would open and close, lights would flicker and things would fall down. He would even hear scratching coming from the wall that the painting was on. Then he started to see a dark figure in his dreams. He said that he would get stuck in some sort of sleep paralysis and he would be visited by a figure with no eyes. He then would start to have the same reoccurring dream every night. He even said he was visited by the faceless people in this painting. That's when he decided to take apart the painting. When he removed the frame, he said that his whole house started to smell like sulfur. He also realized a dark cross was painted on the back of this image. He then put this painting in his basement storage locker where it still remains. He doesn't know what to do with it and is scared to burn it with the fear that he will annoy the demons. I mean, I would just donate it back to the thrift stores, let them deal with it. In our third spot, we have the portrait of the doll. Now, unfortunately, this piece does not have any pictures associated with it, and I will explain why. So, this is a story of another girl who bought a painting from a thrift store. Don't buy paintings from thrift stores. So, similar to the guy I mentioned before, this girl felt drawn to this particular photo. She felt like she was lured into buying it. This picture was of an old doll. She claims that when she hung it up in her room, she immediately felt like she was being watched. Even her friends that slept over would say the same thing. Now, she doesn't know who the artist is and can't find a picture of the painting online. She thinks that it's an original piece of art. Now, she was getting really scared from this painting that she too hid it in a storage room. Immediately, the uneasy feeling she felt before just stopped. But she claims that whenever she goes down to the storage room, the same feeling overwhelms her. And in our number one spot, we have the auctioned painting. Again, unfortunately, I don't have an image of this painting as it was an original and the artist remains unknown. So this person claims that when he was 8 years old, his mother bought a haunted painting from an auction. Now this painting is of a woman around the age of 30 who is wearing a long bluish grey gown. She is seen standing in front of a veranda with a tea set, kettle and a plate of cake and sandwiches next to her. They believe that the painting was from around 1900 to 1910. They hung this painting in the hallway and when they did so, strange activity started happening immediately. Now they claim that the hallway was always warm since it was summer, but when the painting was hung up, the hallway was always ice cold. All the kids in the family were also scared of this painting. In fact, his little six year old brother would walk on the other side of the hallway. Now, at night, they would often hear whispering coming from the hallway. 
and one time they reported seeing a flash of blue in the corner of their eye, like the dress was coming out of the painting. Now, one day the little brother even tripped down the stairs and said he felt a cold hand push him, and even their pets would growl at the painting. Eventually, they decided to sell the painting to an arts collector. He currently keeps this painting locked up in his basement. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have this hunting cave painting. This painting comes to us from an astonishing 44,000 years ago and was found on the wall of a cave on an Indonesian island. Researchers were able to date this painting that far back due to the fact that the cave it was found in is still living, which means that rock formations have been growing over the painting, and by being able to date those, they know that it is at least 43,900 years old, but it could potentially be even older. The painting features what looks like a hunting scene with four wild pigs, some small buffalo, and a group of really small hunters with spears. The strange thing about these hunters, other than their size, is the fact that they're all human and animal hybrids. They all have elongated faces like an animal snout, and a lot of them have tails. There's even one tiny human thing that has a beak. We don't really know why they depicted the hunters this way or why the animals are so much larger than them. There also were no other usual signs of human life found in the cave, such as bones or hunting tools. This cave may have acted as some sort of special or sacred spot for them, but I can't imagine a sacred spot that only holds a strange hunting painting. It definitely sounds a little creepy to me. In our number nine spot today, we have the ambassadors. Before I dive into this one, guys, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video so far, because it really helps us out. Okay, this one might not exactly be old enough to be considered ancient, but this is my list and I definitely believe this one still belongs. The Ambassadors by Hans Holbein the Younger was created in 1533, and at first glance at it, it just seems like a nice painting of two men, two ambassadors, but that is not the case. This painting is full of imagery that has had professionals debating for years what it really is all about. The debated figures include the two globes, one being terrestrial and one being celestial. There's a bunch of different measuring devices, two of which are sundials, the variation of textiles, the open religious text, or the difference in clothing between the two ambassadors. This all might seem arbitrary, but the details, of course, must have been intentional. But what does it all mean? It is believed that this painting may be trying to convey religious strife or the interruption of religious harmony, but we truly aren't sure. The most notable feature of this painting, however, is the distorted skull that is featured at the bottom middle of the painting. The anamorphic skull is meant to be a visual puzzle as it requires a different perspective to clearly see, and no one is really sure why Hans gave this skull such a prominent place in the painting. One theory, however, is that this painting may be intended to show three levels. The heavens, which which is shown by the astrolabe, then the earthly world which is represented by the text and the instruments, and then the final being the underworld represented by the skull. It is possible that Hans may have just wanted to remind us all of our mortality. In our number 8 spot today we have the giants in Egyptian paintings. This one is less of a specific painting and more so just a feature that is seen in a lot of ancient Egyptian paintings. There's a common theme of giants in these. This may have been a representation of people being of a higher status or being the more important figure in the painting, but many believe that this may be a sign that there were really giants in ancient Egypt. Considering how strange the pyramids are to us and how little we really know about their construction, how can we say for sure that there weren't giants? If there were, what happened to them? This is one that really has me stumped. What do you guys think? Let me know below in the comments if you think this is a case of the person being depicted as a giant because of their social status, or do you think it's possible that giants really did exist at one point? In our number 7 spot today we have Medusa. Another one of the more recent paintings on today's list is Medusa by Caravaggio. We all know the story of Medusa, the woman with snakes for hair that when you look at you turn to stone, and this is a painting that really captures her essence perfectly, as well as capturing a horrific moment. This painting was meant to be a depiction of the defeat of Medusa. The legend goes that Perseus, who is the son of Zeus and Danae, was given a shield by Athena. He took this shield to battle Medusa and managed to outsmart her by letting her catch a glimpse of her own reflection in the shield. She then turned herself to stone and this is when he took his sword and beheaded her. That is the moment this painting is portraying, the moment that Medusa was beheaded. I'm not sure if it really gets more cursed than that. This painting was created by Caravaggio in 1597 and it was actually his second of the kind, which is honestly kind of creepy. In our number six spot today, we have Hell. 
I'm not necessarily sure if I have to explain this one because the name really does speak for itself. This painting by Hans Memling was created in 1485 and it truly is terrifying. This is one of three double-sided panels that were created and it features a banner that reads, there is no redemption in hell. This painting features some sort of devil creature with fangs and bat-like wings and features and it has another entire face on its belly. Its hands and feet are claw-like and it is depicted stepping or dancing on the backs of people who are in the mouth of some sort of a beast, of course engulfed in flames. This whole painting is absolutely terrifying, especially for those who believe in the existence of hell. It would be extremely interesting to know exactly where the inspirations for this piece came from, as it certainly is unlike anything I have ever seen before. In our number five spot today, we have the supernatural being. This painting was made by Katsushika Hakusai, and it belongs to the Japanese genre of art that is about supernatural beings, which are painted on wood blocks. The painting depicts a skeletal man who truly is straight out of a nightmare. The story behind this one is that it apparently is about an actor who was killed. The legend states that he actually ended up coming back to life like a zombie, and that is what this painting is about. Well, I guess it's more like a zombie ghost thing as he comes back to haunt his wife and the new man she has fallen in love with. This legend is already quite terrifying and the artist found a way to really bring that horror to life. His depiction of the sunken eyes and the horrifying grin with the clear representation of the thin skin and those spindly little fingers really make this painting what it is and that is a work of sheer terrifying art. In our number four spot today, we have the UFO. This painting comes from an unknown source from around 1350, and it is depicting the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, surrounded by a crowd of people with some extra special visitors. These visitors seem to be of the extraterrestrial variety. On either side of Jesus in the painting, there appears to be some sort of UFO that contains strange looking humans? It is very obvious that any sort of flying object during these times just did not exist, so the fact that it's one we as humans have never seen before is all the more interesting. Many people speculate that it is possible that these creatures may have been deities or perhaps angels, but there were no wings or halos or any other sign of angelic or divine features. It is possible that maybe humans have always been obsessed with the idea of alien life, and maybe the belief in UFO stems all the way back to them, but maybe this is a sign that aliens did visit Earth at some point long ago. Either way, it certainly is quite suspicious and a little bit creepy. In our number three spot today, we have the Lizard Hands. In 2002, in a cave discovered in the western deserts of Egypt, researchers found a ton of paintings on the walls thought to be dated back at least 8,000 years, if not longer. The paintings featured animals, humans, and sometimes headless creatures, which led to the cave being nicknamed the Cave of the Beasts. But there are also hundreds of handprints outlined, which are both very cool and very eerie. The most unusual part of the handprints, however, are the 13 that are extremely tiny. This would be endearing and very cute, but what was once thought of as little tiny baby hands are actually not even human at all. An anthropologist realized this in 2006 when she saw that they were much too small and that the fingers were much too long. It is thought that these handprints may belong to lizards or perhaps baby crocodiles, but we still aren't really sure. It is definitely interesting and kind of fascinating to see all these handprints on the walls of the cave, but it definitely carries a mystery that we may never know the answers to. In our number two spot today, we have the Tomb of Roaring. In 2006, a grave robber who had been caught unveiled a secret in exchange for some leniency in his sentence. This secret is what unearthed this next cursed painting. He helped provide information that led to the unearthing of the Tomb of Roaring, which is one of the oldest tombs ever found in Europe. Inside the tomb were things like a sword, Greek vases, metal meat roasting spits, and a painting. This painting is one of the oldest in Europe and it is believed to have belonged to a warrior prince. The painting features what was originally thought to be lions, but it is now believed that they are probably deer or horses. I'm not sure about you guys, but unearthing a secret tomb with information given to you by a grave robber seems like a perfect recipe for something cursed, and I'm not sure if we should have opened that thing. Who knows what it could have unleashed on the world. In our number one spot today, we have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is a painting that comes all the way from at least 7,000 years ago. This painting is the main part of a mural that is located in Utah's Horseshoe Canyon. The entire mural is huge as it is 300 feet long and features around 80 figures, and it was likely painted by ancient nomads. The technique used to create this image was by filling their mouths with red ochre tinted paint and spraying it out onto the sandstone. The paint was a mix of their blood and clay that was binded together by urine. This is all super cool and kind of gross, but here's the creepy thing. 
No one knows why these paintings were created or what they represent. Maybe they just like to paint, but it is kind of crazy to think about what this figure could have meant to them. Was it part of a legend? Was it something they saw in real life? This is just one of those mysteries that unfortunately is buried with the people of the past, and we are just left to speculate exactly what this could be about. Mm -hmm.